let's look at join operations in a sequence in this case what we can do is we can join more than one tables in a sequence so uh, just like chaining different joins so here what we have is three tables a b and c and what this particular statement is doing is joining a with b so a join b using the column x and then what your result of that join is that is joined with the table c using x so those are the two sequential steps so a joined with b gives a result and then that result is joined with c to get the final result for the join now to make this more explicit we could write this using parentheses so we could say a join b put a parenthesis here using x and then whatever is the result of this is going to be a table that would be then joined with c using uh, x so that would be another join here so we could specify parentheses like this we could also uh, change the order of join between the tables a b c for example uh, down here what we have is a join where we are uh, yeah this is what we just saw and uh, there's another join where we can combine b and c uh, before we can join it with a so what we have is b join c using x so this would be performed first and whatever is the result resultant table of this join then a would be joined on this result using x so that's the way parentheses can be used to kind of order change the order of uh, joins or change the sequence of joins uh, between the tables uh, let's look at the query here we have table a table b and table c each of these tables have a column w that is common to all of them and that is on purpose so that we can use the using when we are performing a join now the very first uh, join that we'll perform is as as such a from a inner join b using w and then we perform inner join of the result with c using w again so when we run this query we should see in the output that the join is between these so this is the output that we see uh, down here and when we perform a join b so when we are joining table a with b uh, the first time so only the records that this is a inner join so only the matching ids would be in the result so we should have this two in the output and this three the two and three should be in the output one and four should not be there in the output in the result and when this result is joined with the table c again only two three should be in the output and this one and four should not be in the output because that does not exist in the results and so what we have here in the output is three only and i'm thinking why there is three yes it is three only because as we can see in the c table uh, the ID, there is only one ID 3 that would match either of these 2 and 3. So the 2 does not exist. So this again would not be there in the output. And therefore we have only 3 as an ID in the output along with the other combinations of X, Y and Z. Now the same uh, type of uh, same statement we can write uh, using a parenthesis as we saw earlier in the docs where we can specify a back parenthesis in the first join a in a join b and then we can join that result with c using w as we can see here so when we perform this particular join when we run this query what we get in the output is a result as we see here and it's again the same result as we had before where there are there is only one id 3 that is common between the result of a and b and the table c next 
let's look at another variation where we can change the sequence of joints uh, like so where we have a inner join c using w and this would the result of this would then be used to join with a uh, to get us the output and so when we run this query what we would be able to see is output as we have here which is this where what we have is the output of b and c so in between b and c these are the ids and among these ids what we what we can see is the id 3 and 4 is common so the the result should have IDs 3 and 4 and out of these 3 and 4 there is only ID 3 that is available in the table A which is this and so again the ID 4 would be dropped and we should have only ID 3 in the output as we see here which is this one. So that's how we can chain different uh, joining sequences or we can uh, we can have a sequence of join operations between tables uh, separated by parentheses to give priority to which join should be performed first uh, in the sequence. That was it for this video. I hope you understood how the join sequence works. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.